good day everybody i hope you are doing fine there so today we'll be doing we'll continue with the prelim paper today we'll be doing question five so i hope you'll enjoy so don't forget to subscribe and then share and then like them okay i hope you'll enjoy you're gonna be doing doppler effect so question five that side it is what doppler effect okay so stay tuned and watch the video i hope you'll enjoy Let's get on it to work. <laughs> so here's the question. So, grade 12 learners conduct an investigation to try verify the speed of a race car using the Doppler effect. A race car driving around a race course at a constant speed emits a single frequency of 200 Hz. A learner standing on the final street records the sound using a cell phone. As the car approaches him, so now you know what when a car it is approaches him approaching him there's what a high frequency and a what low wavelength so as the frequency gets high the wavelength is what low because the 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 car is now approaching the guy so there will be what too much frequency but when it is now passing him it will be what a low frequency and then longest wavelength okay let's go to the questions so now before i go to questions as you can see here what do i have the race car emits a single wave so it means with this 230 it is what the frequency of the source you see now let's go for this investigation write down the following a dependent variable so you know what a dependent variable is a variable that depends on something but in this case what we like to i will simply write what the frequency the, the what the change in frequency detected or observed because you know what the frequency it uh, it it um depends on the scenario because like if it is approaching him the frequency will, will be higher but when the frequency passes him it will be low so it depends you see it depends so now you can write what i you when i will write uh so i mean i will say what okay let me write the change in i wanted to write that delta but it's fine change in frequency frequency observed you see frequency it is depending on the type of scenario there because it can be towards or away and then one control variable this one is kind of simple because now this is something that is always kept what constant so you know what the answer will obviously be what the speed of sound air because you know what this one is always the constant this always the same speed of sound air there okay so now let's go to the third one so they are saying a suitable investigative question for this experiment so now as i have read the statement there so now check now we are busy taking the, the, the 12 learners are busy conducting an investigation to verify the speed of a race car and then you have the frequency the uh, what in emitted by the race car and then you have a learner that is standing which uh, which who is recording what the the sounds using a cell phone so for this one you will start by doing what checking the trend there so you can simply see what what is the relationship between the change in frequency that will be heard and then to what to the speed of the vehicle you see we are now checking between the what the frequency and the what and the speed of the vehicle there is it fine now so now investigative questions are just in jail yeah. so now you can do what was it um 5.1.3 you will say what what is the sorry a relationship between what did I say between the change Where am I? The change in frequency. The change in frequency that will be 
Uh, what you got? That will be what? That will be observed relative to the speed of the vehicle. That's it. You get your six marks. You see? Two for six because you did three questions. So each question has what? Uh, two marks there. So now let's continue. So now what is the next question saying? It is saying when playing the sound recorded on the cell phone using the presence of an oscilloscope, a difference now check it is what a difference in frequency of 67,15 was registered. You see, so it means good time allowed to do what to do this one now. When I'm still there on what on the difference there, because now I was told so learn it will be the same as in what 200 minus 67 comma 15 because this is the difference you know difference from your things most the difference in frequency of that was registered use the information to calculate the velocity to calculate the speed of the risk car so it will be what the velocity of the source because the risk car it is the one that is emitting the sound it is the source there. So now let's go to need the work. So now this is how, how my things will be. And it already I told you what the frequency of the listener it, it there was a difference of what of uh, 67,15. So what is it 5.2 ne? So now the first thing that you will do write the Doppler equation for one mark. You see, and then what do I have? V plus minus V L over v plus minus vs times fs you see you got your one mark one mark for mahala there and then now check since they said the difference so and i'm gonna subtract it means what maybe the the car was moving away because they were seeing what the difference so i'm allowed to say what away i'm gonna write away there and then what is the formula for away there it is what fl it is equals to v minus vl over v plus vs times fs and then now i can simply write my thing say um the velocity of the listener it will be 200 minus 67,15 because i was told you there was what a difference there let me take my calculator so 200 minus 67,15 do what 132,85 so now I have the frequency of the listener, which will be simply what? 132,85. It is equal to, this is the velocity of the speed of sound in air. So I was told. So this is what? 340 minus. What is the velocity of the listener? Now let's come here. I forgot to tell you something. It means that the learner, it is standing on the final street. So it means that the velocity of the listener, it is what? Zero. Over what? 340 plus vs the one that you want what is the frequency of the source it is 200 the one that we were told initially in the statement and then to get my answer i'm simply going to divide process by what by that thing because it is now multiplied so i'm allowed to do what say 132,85 over 200 it is equals to 340 over 340 plus vs Cross multiply. What is 340 times 200? It is 540. 132 times 340. 132,85 times 340. Simple mess this one. 451. 45169 plus 132,85 VS. Now you're going to do your mess there. 540 minus, um, um, let me check. 132,85 times 340, I get for that number there, which is a very, very big number. So now, let me continue. So I'll say this one, my, uh, this one, take it to the other side. I know I will get a negative answer, so we'll see if I made a mistake or not, because mistakes happen. This is what? Negative 44, 629. 
it is cost 132,85 vs and then uh, that answer divided by 132,85 what am i getting 335 okay let me go back and check my calculations there seems like i was very fast let's let's check our calculations yeah i knew that i was very fast so 340 times 200 it is not 540 it is 68000 i made a mistake there so what is 68000 minus um 45169 i made a mistake there 22831 so 22831 is cost 132,85 vs divide process by 132,85 what am i getting um 171,86 so i made a mistake there simple mistake small mistake so therefore my vs it is cost to 171,86 meters I'm struggling here meters per second and then this is my answer vs is close to 171 and then this is my answer okay so you simply divide by 200 and then cross multiply and get your answer so now let's go to the next question don't mind that part. I was too fast. Let's go to the next one. So now, I'm going to write this one here because you are already done with the question, right? So now check. The spectrum of light from most stars contains lines corresponding to helium gas. Okay? So, diagram A shows the, the helium spectrum of the in the laboratory this one sorry distance star so is the distance star moving away from or towards the earth so now let's check the lines there as you can see this line here it is close to what 500 this line here it is before 600 this line here it is what one two dots before 700 this one now check this one it is now after 500 this one it is now after 600 this one was before 600. This one it is now one. It is nearer to 700. So it was what shifted. You see that side. You want? So it means what it is what away, 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 away. So your answer did is what away. You see, because as you can see, they are moving what away there. There is an increase in the wavelength. In simpler terms, there is an increase in wave wavelength so the spectrum of the distance star it is moving what to towards the longer wavelength so you can say what the is an increase in wavelength of the what of the spectrum of the spectrum of the distant star you see so when there is a way higher uh, increase in wavelength they will what the so let me write there there will be i'll simply write here there will be ah i'm wasting time so i need to the first statement there as i was i told you there will be what increase in wavelength so when there is an increase in wavelength they would do what there will be a what lower frequency because the higher the wavelength the lower the frequency so you can end up and say what uh, the stretch was what you can say redshift but you can just for getting your marks. But already you have the mark for away and the two marks for explaining. So you don't have to explain many things. If it has four marks, you're going to explain everything. So is it fine, guys? So we are done with the question. <coughs> we are done with the question. So it is simply like that. So 
let's go through it again so they are saying a gritol flanner conducts an investigation to verify the speed of the car using the doppler effect a race car driving around a race court at a constant speed emits a single frequency so the race car since it is done that emitted a single frequency it means what it is the what the frequency of the source a learner standing so standing it is basically telling us that what this is what the the, the velocity of the source the the in the, the velocity of this learner it is what zero because the learner it is standing you see and then this one so i hope you enjoyed guys thank you very much uh, you are going to continue ciao